Hey everyone, it's Alexander the Real Mr. Robinson, and this is my review for Dolomite Is My Name. This movie stars Eddie Murphy, who we haven't seen in a long time, as he plays Rudy Ray Moore. Ryan Reynolds stars as the adorable, yet electric, Detective Pikachu, a Pokemon who has the ability to talk to the main human character, played by Justice Smith. When you watch Jungle Book, you can tell by looking in their eyes that there's a lot of emotion and you can tell what the animals are thinking without them actually speaking. And I never got that from this movie at all. I was, it just, I just felt kind of dead inside watching it. Wow. Okay. Wow. I was reminded like in terms of devolving franchises, this reminded me of Die Hard much more than uh, Fast and point. Furious. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you start off with one of the best action movies of the 80s, First Blood. Right, right. And then it just kind of deteriorates. Some of it's fun, some of it's not fun. Then you get to this fifth one, and you're like, seems like they just filmed some other Stallone movie, uh, and that his character just happened to be named John, and then halfway, or when they wrapped, it's like, mm, I'll just make it a Rambo movie. Okay, you know, I can see how someone can hate this movie, but really, it's not the worst thing in the world. Hell, there's not even a giant mechanical spider in it to make it the worst movie of 1999. Today on Giants of Sci-Fi, we are talking about the God of Destruction, a true force of nature, the king of the monsters, Godzilla. Over the past 65 years, Godzilla has become more than just a monster. He's become a phenomenon, having appeared in over 30 films. When they brought J.K. Simmons back as J. Jonah Jameson, mm. I think people had that sliver of hope, but you know what, I'm okay with Herschel Ali. I mean, two-time Academy Award winner. He's a fantastic actor. He can just change himself in so many roles. He's got it down. He knew nothing about movies in general, didn't know how to make a movie, but his level of passion and dedication to the movie and the cast and crew is something you really admire. And that's one of the reasons why I really love this movie. 